back again with my 2016 prediction video. Now, first off, Happy New Year, and I have to admit, I've got a bit of an advantage with this sort of thing because I've got a crystal ball. Uh, and ever since I won this on the Crystal Maze a few years ago, it's been telling us the future, yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's the crystal ball anyway. Either that or I've got schizophrenia, which would explain a lot, actually. But nevertheless, let's kick it off with the questions. What will the Premier League top four be? Now, if you told us at the start of the Premier League season that Man United and Chelsea weren't going to be in the top four, I would have called you crazy. But luckily, I've got me crystal ball, which isn't crazy at all, obviously. And then in first place, I'm going to say it's Manchester City, followed by Arsenal, then Spurs, then Leicester. Could it actually happen? We'll wait and see. Who will get relegated? Rock bottom, like one of the Rock's finisher moves, is Aston Villa. You don't need a crystal ball to tell you that, although it does help. And in second last place is Sunderland, which I'm happy to see them go down. I'm really delighted to see them go down. Unfortunately, I don't think we're getting rid of them because I think Newcastle are going with them. Who will be the first manager sacked in 2016? I've got to say it like he says it. Louis van Gaal! Who will be in the final of Euro 2016? Germany versus Belgium. Oh, that'll be a good one. I'm looking forward to that now. Who will win Euro 2016? I'm going with Germany. How well will England, Wales and Northern Ireland do? Despite being able to chat to a crystal ball, I'm not expecting miracles. I mean, Northern Ireland will put up a fight and Wales will have a bit of fight about them and they've got some talent. So I expect them to go one round further than my team, England, who will probably just fall at the first good team we're faced, to be honest, like we did in the World Cup. And that's the same old story. Who will be England manager? While we're on this mystic vibe, I'm going to channel them, lads, so it's... Well, it's time. We just try again. Well, we just keep trying. Try again. It's going to be Roy Hodgson, isn't it? Because he has to do now to keep that job at this rate. Where will Jose Mourinho be? The special one, as he likes to call himself, will be reacquainted with his good old friend, Sir Alex, as he's appointed manager of Manchester United. How big will Cristiano Ronaldo's ego become? Oh, I mean, I'm fully expecting him to start shaving his body hair off and selling it on eBay, which no doubt some mug out there will buy it. I mean, actually, that's probably a good investment. It'll probably be worth quite a lot in 10 years. I might get some. Will Arsenal fans be arsing in or arsing out this time next year? Well, it'll probably be the same old story, won't it? I mean, by the end of 2016, statistically, they'll be the best team in the whole league. You know, they'll have the most points, but they probably won't have won a Premier League title or a Champions League title in that time. Although I'd like to be wrong, it'd be nice to see Arsene Wenger win a big title and go out and retire on a high. Who will be World Player of the Year? Well, I'm kind of expecting Cristiano Ronaldo's legs to start going, and I don't think he'll push Messi as much as he has done, so Messi will be king, but don't get us wrong. There's a new prince emerging, and his name is Neymar, and he will be challenging. Who will be the next player to commit a crime? Michael Carrick. That's always the quiet ones you least expect it from, and I fully expect them. When he finally gets dropped, he's probably going to leave a horse's head in Louis van Gaal's bed to wake up to, and I, I, that'd be quite funny to watch, wouldn't it? And, and uh, actually, we don't like horses, apparently, up here in the north, so he is a Geordie originally, so that seems quite logical to me. Who will be the next club to take on Adebayo? Well, it's probably going to be a club that smacks of desperation, a club down and out and really struggling, and that nobody else would want to go to, so Sunderland. Who will be the next player to be caught inhaling hippie crack? Well, I'm not pointing fingers here, but uh, actually I am pointing fingers, if I'm honest. I don't think there's a player, but I'm pretty sure there's one manager already inhaling heavy crack right now that is about to be exposed, and his name is Steve McLaren. If you've watched any of his press conferences after games lately, when Newcastle have been terrible, bang average, he comes out and says, we were magnificent. I'm thinking, what, what game was he watching? But heavy crack would explain a lot. Will Louis van Gaal's forehead get any bigger? I'm pretty sure his wife is hoping so, because right now when they go on holiday together, she uses it as a deck chair. Now, if it gets bigger, she could get a friend on there as well. Ideal. And last but not least, what are your New Year's resolutions? You see, I think a lot of people set themselves up for failure straight away. Oh, I'm going to eat less. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to drink less. That's setting yourself up for failure. Why not do what I do? Say, I'm going to eat more, drink more. Unorthodox, yes. But when December rolls round, who's going to be sat here looking like the success? Happy as Larry known. I lived up to the hype. I did everything I said I was going to do. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Stay subscribed to me, The True Jordy, and the Dream Team YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Jezza, talk to us about your hair colour. That doesn't say that. Apart from me, who is your favourite freestyler? It doesn't say apart from you, does it? Oh, it does.